about a third of the way through, I got hit on the back as if a boulder hit me. Uh, it knocked me forward a step or two. Uh, it didn't knock me down, uh, but it hurt tremendously. I did not know what it was. I had no idea what it was. And all of a sudden, I heard someone uh, yell at it and me something I can't repeat about what it, what I am. Uh, uh, curse, curse words, dirty curse words, and then some more dirty curse words, and then a few more dirty curse as he retreated and ran away. And then he turned around and he said that I was a woman killer. Uh, you kill women, your party kills women. That was former drag queen and coup plotter Rudy Giuliani, who recalls the very traumatic event that led to the arrest of a grocery store employee who he claims assaulted him. Now, for more on this, we go to NBC News, who reports former New York mayor Rudy Giuliani said he wants the supermarket employee accused of slapping him on the back as he campaigned for his son to be prosecuted, adding that if the suspect is released, it could encourage others to attack people with contrary political views. The employee, Daniel Gill, 39, was charged with second-degree assault, according to the New York City Police Department. It was not immediately clear if he had an attorney. NBC News has reached out to Gill's family for comment. Giuliani believes the suspect should be fired from his job and said, darn right, I think he should be prosecuted. Quote, this guy should be imprisoned to say to other people, it's over, doesn't happen, he said. I believe you let Mr. Gill go. A lot more of these crazy pro-choice people are going to start attacking people. So according to him, this was very serious. Now, thankfully, I have the surveillance footage so we can take a look at this alleged assault and keep in mind what he said. He claims that this slap was so strong, it knocked him back forward a step or two. Decide for yourself. So... He was arrested for patting you on the back. That's the assault. See, when the news outlets first reported that Rudy Giuliani was slapped, I imagined someone coming up behind him and just like slapping him on the back of the head. But that right there was somebody patting him on the back. I mean, sure, it was a semi-aggressive pat on the back, but it was a pat on the back nonetheless. And that individual went to jail and is now going to be prosecuted because of that. Really, Rudy Giuliani? He also claims that it knocked him forward a step or two. Are you serious? We have the footage now. You want this grocery store worker to be prosecuted for that? Are you that fragile? Are conservative men that fragile to where even a pat on the back is now characterized as an assault? Is that really what assault looks like to you? I mean, I don't know what an assault on Rudy Giuliani would look like, according to him, but let me just for a second visualize Rudy Giuliani being assaulted so I can, like, understand, you know, what that would look like. I'm gonna come. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, after visualizing Rudy Giuliani being assaulted, that is not an assault. Now, more on this from Rudy Giuliani. Giuliani said he still feels pain in his shoulder <laughs> and planned to see a doctor. Quote, it was painful all night. It was hard to sleep, but I'm telling you, it was a very, very heavy shot, he said. I'm in good shape for a 78-year-old. Mm, no, you're not. He could have easily knocked me to the ground and killed <laughs> Shut the fuck up. And, ki and killed me by my head getting hit, Giuliani continued. You honestly think that your life was in danger and that man could have killed you right there, Rudy? Is that honestly what you're contending? See, this is why people don't believe your lies about the election, because if you're willing to claim that that right there could have killed you, then, I mean, you have no credibility whatsoever. I mean, if you want to argue, technically that's an assault. Okay, I, I feel like that's a stretch now that we've seen the surveillance footage, but to claim, oh my God, it hurt, it hurt me all night and it could have killed me. Rudy, shut the fuck up. Holy shit. If you genuinely felt pain from that, all night, somebody could literally kill you by farting on you. Like, if they walked by and they jumped and, like, tried to fart in your face, the wind from the fart, like, the gust from that could be so powerful that you could be blown back and explode spontaneously. I just, I'm trying to understand how you think your life was in danger because of that. Sure, maybe it was intimidating. The individual allegedly confronted him. 
but it was a pat on the back, and sure, you you could not like that, right? It was it was semi aggressive, still a pat on the back, nonetheless. But now for you to claim that he could have killed you is absurd. But again, you know, conservatives they lie all the time. To be a conservative is to be a compulsive liar, especially if you're Rudy Giuliani. So, I mean, you've seen the footage. Decide for yourself. But in my opinion, that not only wasn't an assault, but to characterize that as an attempt to kill Rudy Giuliani, potentially, an attempted murder, is a, a stretch, to say the least. Do you enjoy watching independent news shows like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, and The Majority Report, but oftentimes YouTube doesn't deliver our videos to your subscription box? Well, I've got a solution for you. It's called the Opt Out app, available right now in the iOS App Store, coming soon to Android. Opt Out is an app made by and for progressives where they take all of the most popular independent news shows and they put them in one convenient location. You'll find all your favorites on there, like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, The Majority Report, and the app is updated multiple times per day, so your news feed is constantly up to date. If you enjoy watching independent media, this is the app to get. Download it today. Were you acting like a beta? <laughs>